it's been a year since my last degree apprenticeship uh, update video so I thought it's about time I make a new one uh, I've got quite a few requests if I'm looking around like I am now it's just because people are walking around and I don't want to look like a weirdo but anyway so for those of you that don't know what degree apprenticeship is I'm basically doing full-time work part-time uni and it's in the industry of software engineering but there are a lot of other places that you can do it in so the first year just to summarize what I was doing was a year of training and I was in a team full of the other cohort so the rest of the cohort there are three three other people there were four but one of them left Hold on, people are walking by. Oh crap, oh crap. All right. Stony walk by. Okay, okay. So, yeah, we spent that first year just getting trained mainly, and the projects that we done in that first year, they were more so related to us learning about C Sharp than like benefiting the company. But nearing the end, we did start doing things that uh, benefited the company but also obviously teaching us very valuable lessons. But the team was quite small, obviously. It was just us apprentices, software engineering apprentices, and one senior software engineer that kind of took us through our problems and all of that. Now I'm in my first placement. So how it works, after that first year of training, you get placed somewhere in the company for six months. But in my case, I was play I'm placed, I still am placed for a year. And alhamdulillah, I got placed in one of the biggest companies. Uh, sorry, biggest companies, biggest teams in the company rather. Before I joined this team, I was quite nervous about going into it. Be not really nervous, I wouldn't say, but more so apprehensive, innit? I heard a lot of negative things about it. People are saying it's a really old code base. It is an old code base. It's a really badly maintained uh, code base. Fair enough, it kind of is. But really and truly, I think out of all the apprentices, I have one of the best ones, alhamdulillah. Maybe second best, I don't know, but definitely in the top two. So you might have noticed that I said it's a one-year placement as opposed to the six-month. The reason being, this uh, code base is quite big, isn't it? There's quite a lot to learn. And the biggest thing is, I went from learning c -sharp for a year to immediately going into a C++ team. So what I did to adjust to that is just spent the first month or so, maybe first couple of weeks rather, learning C++ and another thing called MFC, which is Microsoft Foundation Classes. But yeah, alhamdulillah, the main difference with this team is that the tasks that I get in this team are a lot harder and it's more so a love-hate relationship with these, with these tasks because before when I was in that first year just learning C Sharp, the tasks were really little and uh, you could most of the tasks you can get them done in a day and maybe even two tasks in a day. But with this team, the tasks are so hard, at least for me, because obviously I'm quite new to this team and new to the language itself. It's, it's, quite, it's quite tough to get these tasks done, especially without help. And in fact, I don't think I've got many of these tasks done without any help because it's really that hard. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, it's really that hard. But it's not always a bad thing because forcing yourself to communicate with these people with a lot more experience than you and getting help from them has definitely helped me quite a lot all right so the next thing to discuss is my uni work uni work has been all right obviously since it's the second year it actually counts to our final grade i say all right i don't really enjoy uh, uni work but it is what it is alhamdulillah i only have to do this part time as opposed to these lot going to full university courses which i still don't know how how these people do it because i find it so boring and useless when compared to actual work but i've mentioned my views about that in uh, other videos last thing is salary has increased alhamdulillah now i'm only mentioning that because i know a lot of you guys are interested in applying to um, apprenticeships degree apprenticeships especially so the salary does increase every year. And that's it. Apply now. It's uh, December right now as I'm recording this. So don't miss out on this opportunity. It's like I'm flipping advertising it. But really, I just want you guys to avoid going to uni and, and paying all of this nonsense tuition for no reason. I don't gain anything other than the reward of you guys avoiding the loans. But inshallah, make your own decisions. Look into it. Don't avoid it. That's it. Assalamu alaikum.